Hello everybody, I got asked by a subscriber, I think it was yesterday, could I do a video testing the GP4 gas mask, and I can certainly give it a go. I think it was Ethan Lemon that recommended it, but apologies if I got that name wrong, I'm not going to trawl through loads of comments to try and find it again. So, this is the Soviet GP4 gas mask, the gas mask that was designed prior to the GP5, and the GP5 succeeded. Obviously it's a lot more expensive to produce something like this than the GP5. It's got an attached hose rather than one you can put on or off. It's got a bigger thing around the exhale port. Inside it's got a standard intake there and an exhale. The inside's quite simple. But it's also got straps, whereas the GP5 is just a latex hood with a mass-produced sort of metal bit it's stitched to. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to put a modern Gost filter on it, a Polish ABEC type one from the 90s. So if this doesn't work, although it could be the filter at fault, I imagine it will be the mask. And let's test it. Right, let's check the seal. Bit of air getting in under my chin. Let's try it again now. I'm going to tighten it even more if I can. Right, I don't think I'm going to be able to do an effective test with this because it seems that the mask is um, not making a full seal of my face. It might not be quite the right size. Oh wait, it was then because I almost suffocated when this cut <laughs> my knee. Right, regardless, I'll test it and I'll just see what it can do. There you go, the filter's holding up there. There's the gas. Oop, didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that to my camera. That was careless of me. Uh, uh, just to let you know, I can already smell that. But I think, again, that's because maybe the seal isn't all that good on the mask. I can still smell it if I cover the filter, so I think to answer your question, the GP4 could potentially uh, work, but not in the sense that I'm steaming all up again. If you got one where the seals are all good and you had a really good face seal, then it might work, but for me I think there's a little gap in the mask somewhere. Let me just try it in that position. I think that's almost an airtight seal now. Um, let's just put a bit more of this in the air. No, I can't smell that now. So, um, there we go. I've got the mask in a better seal position. This filter's obviously working. So, yes. Um, if you manage to find a GP4 that's in good enough condition, bear in mind its age, it will still work as long as you put a decent filter on. As I said, don't do it with the Ivan filters, the Soviet filters, because they do have asbestos in. Use a modern Russian one, or one like these Polish ABEC filters. Uh, but yeah. The GP4 was the one that came before the GP5. The GP5 replaced this for obvious reasons, that it was much cheaper to produce. It's actually easier to put a GP5 on properly because it stretches to the shape of your head. This one is nowhere near as good at demisting either. You can probably see that's all misted up. <coughs> it's 
the problem is with this one is the air isn't really brought onto the lenses, it's just brought directly up into the mask. So the GP5 is better in that regard as well, that it actually has little things to do that. But yeah, so GP4 is quite famous from lots of stalker artwork. I think it's nicknamed the elephant. Um, I've heard it nicknamed that before, but that's also I've heard been applied to M41 GP5 type masks with hoses as well. But yes, this still seems to be standing up, despite being a mask made in 1960-something, with a modern ABEC filter on, the mask seems to work, so that's your Russian technology for you, it still works quite well. Now I've got it done, obviously it's steaming up, and I would rather have a GP5 out of the two, just because it's a mass-produced, simplified version of this mask, which actually has some design improvements. This is steaming up to the point where I can barely see the camera to look into, but it works. Now, to test it, it definitely was working. Now we'll take the filter off. It comes off. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> I can immediately... Yeah, so... That wasn't as strong as I've done it in other videos, but this filter works, the mask does work when you get in the right head position. But, as cool as this mask might look to some people, I think it's obvious why the GP5 replaced it. It was overall a simpler mask and cheaper to produce, so... I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for your suggestion on doing it. But I think my GP4 is really going to remain more of a showpiece than anything more practical than that. Also, I've ordered some PMG 2s today, so I can finally do a video on those, because I've never ordered those before, so see you then, bye!